hello it is saturday i'm just i'm going to yoga class in a little bit but there's a farmer's market nearby that i want to check out um i don't really need anything in particular but i just kind of want to go because i haven't been to it in a while jack is at home working on the stairs he's finally getting to the sec oops the second half of the stairs that started several weeks ago we're also we've been like this week we've been painting a little bit painting trim um so i'll show you that when i get home it's cold out uh anyway it was like 70 degrees one day last week and then like the next day it was snowing can't handle this back and forth <laughs> anyway there were a couple like other places that i kind of wanted to check out like there's this one that had like hummus and pita bread and stuff but i just got stuff from the bagel stand <laughs> so i just got one of their like plain cream cheese and then i got Got two everything, two cinnamon raisin, and two blueberry bagels. Jack and I have been on like a major bagel kick recently. We got these like, um, the brand is One Mighty Mill. Um, we got them from Whole Foods and they're really good. They're like, I don't know like the, what the word, like they're not like typical bagel, like type texture. They're a little bit more like bready. Anyway, they're really good. And we get the cinnamon raisin ones and just eat them with like butter. Um, I really like a bagel with cream cheese. Jack doesn't like cream cheese, but I like it on bagels and that's about it. <laughs> I really like blueberry bagels and I feel like not a lot of places sell blueberry bagels. So I was excited they had blueberry. And then I got the cinnamon raisin cause you know, I used to be anti raisin cinnamon raisin because I don't like raisins that much, but I don't know. Cinnamon raisin bagels have been hitting the spot recently. <laughs> anyway, just gonna go to this class and then I think I'm gonna go hit up the liquor store which is like not what I want to do. <laughs> I really hate that you can't buy alcohol like at normal stores here. Because I really hate having to go to a liquor store. Like, I don't know. And we actually, I haven't gone in a while. We haven't really been drinking much at home. But last week we made like guac and quesadillas and we we're like, mm, margarita sounds really good. But we're like, I was like, I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to go to a liquor store right now. Like, that sounds like the last thing I want to do. Anyway, but it sounds really good again, so I think I'm going to go get stuff for margaritas after this class. Because we're doing guac and quesadillas again tonight. Mm -hmm. We're like addicted to these quesadillas. Um, it's like kind of like a HelloFresh recipe that we got a while ago. We just kind of like remake it without, you know, getting it from HelloFresh. It's pretty easy. They're like sweet potato and poblano quesadillas. But I just remembered. So... <laughs> We ordered stuff for these like last week or the week before. And instead of getting poblanos, I, I could never get poblanos when we order from Whole Foods. Well, one time I ordered like one poblano pepper and we got like five. And I was like, uh, what are we gonna do with all these? And then another time I, or no, just a couple weeks ago, we ordered poblano peppers and the substitute was like Fresno peppers, which are, you know, smaller and they're like spicier and like not the same flavor at all. but whatever um and then this time we ordered poblano peppers i think we should just put like no don't substitute or like substitute with bell pepper because bell pepper works also but this time we got the like long green peppers which i feel like they might work i mean i i can't really remember i think i think i've had them before in like a recipe from HelloFresh, but i don't really remember what they taste like i don't know but i really like the poblano pepper with the sweet potato and the quesadilla it's so good it's like a very good combo anyway okay <laughs> Okay, fine wine and good spirits. <laughs> um, so I got some Cointreau and I wanted to get Mezcal to do Mezcal mar margaritas because that sounded good and I wanted to try the Casamigos Mezcal for a long time. Mostly just because the bottle looks cool. <laughs> um, anyway, they didn't have any of the Casamigos tequilas. Well, that's not true. They had like the little small bottle with like the small bottle section but like in the tequila section they just didn't have them and it had like a note about like suppliers shortages or whatever anyway so i got this one this s one but i didn't even like see a spot for like where the mezcal would be so maybe it was in like a different section i feel like it would be by the tequila there was like not like a separate section you know i don't think it would be with any of the other alcohols and i didn't want to ask so Alrighty, here's the progress so obviously you can see those are the stairs that were already done this is what it looks like underneath the, underneath of the carpet and so Jack's putting in like the risers and treads and then staining them. Hopefully to match the other ones. And then uh, this staircase is gonna be uh, 
way later. <laughs> Look at all this pencil on the wall. <laughs> uh, project for another month. Alright, Sunday. Um, I just went to a yoga class. Um, I'm actually teaching one this evening, so I, I don't know if we're going to get around to any like painting today. I'm not sure if I'm feeling that right now, but we have all the plants in here right now. All sorts of plants in here and the closet doors are off. <laughs> it's kind of a disaster. The cats are allowed in the attic currently, um, which is why I took all the plants out of there. Um, they really love it up there because it's like nice and sunny like in the afternoon and there's like a lot of space for them to run around so just trying to figure out how to like get them to like not bother my plants because I want to have plants up there also. I was going to do like an Abercrombie haul, like try on haul, so I ordered a bunch of stuff from Abercrombie. But I literally don't like anything. Like I ordered like seven things maybe and I like the pair of jeans that I got, but that's it. Like everything else I was like not feeling. Um, I can show it to you, but I'm not going to bother trying any of it on again. <laughs> but I did order some more things and I also ordered a couple things from Reformation and then some shoes also from Sam Edelman. And it's all supposed to be coming like this week, I think, so... Maybe next week we'll do a, a try on haul <laughs> with all the stuff. I just really wanted like some spring stuff, but I don't know. And I was like into like these like spring colors. And I feel like a lot of the stuff at Aber on at Abercrombie on their website right now is like poplin. Is it? It's called like poplin. Like it's like a shirt or a dress, and it's got like like the poofier sleeves. And like it looks cute, like in the pictures and stuff. And then I put it on, and I'm like, no, I don't know what it is about the poofy sleeves, but I'll show you. Okay, so these are the jeans I got. They're the 90s straight ultra high rise. And they're actually like surprisingly long. I feel like a lot of my jeans are like, unless you're like a long length, they're like, you know, awkwardly like short. Um, but these are pretty long. And I like that there's like no rips. I wanted like a pair of like lighter jeans with no rips that weren't like flared. Anyway, and I like the stitching up the front. I think it's cute. All right, here's a dress. And I think the pattern is really pretty and it's like a nice springy summery dress. It's got these poofy sleeves and then it's kind of like poofy at the bottom and it was just not cute on. I got this, which is like a traveler dress. So it's like a, like a workout material type dress with like shorts underneath. And I think these are really cute. And like, I think maybe it's like Outdoor Voices or one of those brands has this type of like, you know, like tennis dresses or like workout dresses and I think they're really cute but I don't know the top did not fit like how I would want it to and I'm not actually gonna wear that to work out I'd really only wear it to like walk somewhere I'd rather just wear like leggings and a shirt at that point so I'm just going back okay we got another poofy sleeve item here this is like a poplin shirt with like like corset there they, I don't know what they call it maybe like lace up or corset like on the side little strings I think it's cute, but I don't know. It was like really hard to get on. And there's no like zipper or anything. Just gotta squeeze into it. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could adjust the ties, but I don't know. Wasn't really feeling it. I thought it was really cute in the photo. Very springy, but nope. They also have a bunch of this like tweed stuff right now, which I think is really cute. A little bit like, I don't know, preppy. Um, I actually didn't want this one because they had another dress that was like a darker, like more like navy. With like white stitching that um didn't have this but then it was like out of stock anyway this wasn't terrible but okay so the straps were like too loose like it was like you know just like not tight enough with the straps and then something about the stitching here like when i had it on it looked like the sides looked uneven like it was like sewn wrong or something okay last two items i bought these like thinking they would be cute together um so like kind of like you know like loose nicer material type pant but they look so unflattering on the butt <laughs> and then this shirt with like kind of like a square neck well it's not really a square neck it's kind of like angled and something around like this area it looked really weird on so yeah <laughs> made some peanut butter blondies because that sounded good i don't know that's a recipe i've made a couple times from bon appetit um, 
I mean, they're honestly really good with like vanilla ice cream. I don't think I'd like them that much by themselves, but something about it, the combo is like, with ice, vanilla ice cream is so good. We didn't end up painting. Jack is actually taking a nap. <laughs> but I'll show you the stuff we did over the past week. So we started with like these two doors, the trim, painted it black. Also this like strip on the wall here. Um, I think we might end up doing like kind of that whole like piece um, where the white is. And obviously the stairs are not quite done. <laughs> um, anyway, and then um, Jack did the window as well, around the window and the powder room. Um, in the powder room, we did the, there's all sorts of painting supplies in here. Um, the inside also, um, I mean, I guess those doors are like closets, so you can't really do it past the basement, so there's not like trim on the other side, but yeah, so we're gonna do, well, here's the thing. So originally, also excuse the couch is very messy right now. Um, like we had this door painted, the front door, like that like greenish color, and then we painted gray. Now we think we might just paint it the same brown that all the other ones are, paint the trim black, and then we might just like paint that whole wall either like a darker gray or something because I don't know I just I don't like that wall I don't like <laughs> this thing we have up um anyway so a work in progress over there but yeah so I think we're just gonna paint the door brown painted the third time third time's a term paint the trim black because well that trim obviously when we got the door replaced it was like new trim but like doesn't the like white of it didn't match like it doesn't match the molding on the top the baseboards and obviously it didn't match the trim when it was white on the other doors and stuff so it's just like too white i don't know anyway overall i really like the black trim i think it looks good with like the darker doors and we also just have like a lot of like random like black accents um like the light switch covers and like the doorknobs and things like that so i feel like it kind of helps tie it together a little bit better um I'm not sure if we're gonna do the doors upstairs, all those like blue, the navy doors that we have, if we're gonna do the trim around those. I'm thinking maybe, but again, that's a project for a different time. <laughs>